Hey guys, and welcome to my reaction review of the Brit Awards. I am Luzi21, and welcome to the family. Stormzy! for picking up his second Brit Award of the night. He'll definitely be needing a bigger trophy cabinet. It has been a phenomenal year for the King of Crime. Um. Firstly, um, always I give all the glory to God. God, this is all you. I, this is all you, God. I know like a lot of people, every time I give the glory to God, I know it seems like such a strange thing, but if you know God, you know that this is all him. Fraser T. Smith, my brother, I love you so much. Got my New York hat on, baby. Yay! Anyway, so, Dear Looper or Dear Looper, whatever it is. And Stormzy won big at the Brits. Um, there was a few political, like, speeches, if you know what I mean. Like, I mean, obviously Stormzy mentioned Theresa May, where's the money for Grenfell? Obviously. Um, I mean, that's, that's a big issue. Um, but I want to talk about the, the gorillas thing as well. Like, I think he was talking about Brexit, he definitely was. Um, but, I don't know, it was like interesting what he said. But a legend, but before I talk about that, a legendary band, the Gorillaz. Um, but yeah, a few of the acts, like the Kendrick Lamar act disappointed me because it went wrong, basically. Like at the beginning anyway, and they beeped out all the swearing, why? It kind of ruined it. No, but no, the Brit Awards in general, yeah. It was good, a few political things, like I said. Uh, that, that was the, the main thing that caught my eye, I would say. Um, I'm going to go into more detail about it, but first let's look at the gorillas thing. Like what he said in his speech, exactly, and I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. And put a like if you enjoy this video. Or if you don't, put a like now if you've got faith that it will be a good video. Let's go. So first, the gorillas clip. And then I'm going to get onto the more positive stuff. Well, it is positive because what you're saying makes sense to a certain extent, whatever you, whatever you, whatever you believe. It started off I don't know, nice. I thought it was going to offend more people, but you know. freedom of speech. And obviously, Dio Lupo was talking about like, women's rights. Good for her. Um, I've got one thing to say. And it's about this country. This country is, believe it or not, quite a small little thing, right? But it's full of, it's a lovely place. And it's part of a, a beautiful world. But uh, what I want to say is don't let it become isolated. Don't let yourselves become uh, cut off. You know, we, considering our size, we, we do incredible things in music. You know what I mean? We've got a real spirit and a real soul. And uh, don't let politics get in the way of all of that shit. Now, that in, in, interesting what he said. Right, let me start again. Yeah. That was interesting what he said. To be honest, it got me a bit emotional as well. Like, the way he said it was quite all right until... It, Obviously, he started swearing, so then, like, later on in the acceptance speech, they got cut off. Or, well, I don't know if that was the ITV doing that, or... Well, it definitely wasn't Jack Whitehall, because he, like, laid the blame on them completely. But, I mean, that's how it is. Like, I don't know if they cut him off because of what he was saying, or just because of time, because, like Jack Whitehall said, he didn't want another Adele moment. Um, but, yeah, it was interesting what he said. It kind of resonated with, like... The way things are at the moment, obviously Brexit and all that. 
you can see what his standpoint is. Um, but yeah, when you're on that stage, you, you can say things like that. I mean, we've seen it in the past at the Oscars, at any other sort of award thing like that. These actors, these famous people, they find find that a stage, or it is a stage, where they can give their opinion. Obviously, sometimes they overstep the mark a bit, but like freedom of speech, like I said. Um, but yeah, so moving on, Stormzy won two awards, and then he sung at the end, uh, Legend. Uh, like I mentioned briefly, the Kendrick Lamar performance was a mess. <laughs> they ruined the Lamborghini. No! I would never do that to a Lamborghini. Um, and of course, Dia Lupa performed as well. There's a lot of performances. Uh, I mentioned the, uh, well, I mentioned the, uh, the Sam Smith one, like what kind of suit are you wearing? Like, I'll talk more about that later anyway, I'm not going to repeat what, I, what I'm going to say later on. Um, but anyway, let's get into this and look at the Brit Awards in pictures. Pictures from the Brit Awards. Roll the clip. And everyone likes pictures. I like this one. I didn't actually see this bit, but like, Dear Lupa, you're my new favourite singer. Uh, yeah, Sam Smith is like, oh yeah, it's Liam Payne, dude, like, Rhea Ora, he's smashing up a Lamborghini, not right, Kendrick was standing on top of it, but is that a real one, no, the Mercy Lago as well, no. Free Fighters on top of a chalet. Some other awards. Stormzy was like beyond belief. Carrot. You loop again. Give me giving out awards. Dragon Bone Man. New tattoo apparently. Yeah, they have actual siblings, by the way, they're all the same people. Are they in, even in this photo? No. But yeah, she had that like, brother and sister up there. I don't know. Yeah. Dragon Bowman. Nice. I didn't see all the intro bit. But I did watch it, so. He's got weird suits. But I quite like that one, I like that more than the brown one. Yeah, let's just buzz through. Yeah, so many photos. I'm bored. Welcome back once again, guys. So yeah, that was the uh, Brit Awards in pictures. I'm gonna go into more depth of, on like an article I found talking briefly about the Brit Awards. Just go over the main things, just like if you missed anything. Um, and of course at the beginning I showed like Storms Again is a war that, and I want to talk more about that now to be honest. It, uh, and he thanked God so like people who are religious would like respect him instantly for saying that. I mean, even we did in my household, we were like, oh yeah, he's saying thank you to God, so yeah, that's, that's a good sign. Brit Awards 2018, five things we learned from, I don't know who that is, Humor to storms his power. Uh, and Sheeran lost out. Haha. <laughs> Jack Wyo won big. And politics should be on the stage rather than the red carpet. Here are big takeaways from the Brits. And yeah, there was a lot of political sides. Um, yeah, Kendrick, Timberlake, Stormzy, Dua Lupa, and more. Every performance rated of the blah 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 Brits. Let's have a look. And guys, I was disappointed with the Kendrick Lamar one. Like, they, they bleeped out all the swearing, um, and it, the start, like, they kept delaying the start. Like, they kept stopping and starting the music. And yeah, yeah, no, Stormzy, yeah. You don't like Theresa May, we know that. And then Kendrick smashed up a Lamborghini. Um, yeah, I could talk about all the wins. But yeah, shout out to Stormzy. Yeah, there we go, a few pictures of a few of the performances. And our hello, Dua Lupa. 
Justin, I didn't, I didn't watch that one, I just, no. I'm not going to go into the, yeah, Rag and Bone Man, what a legendary guy. Looks like, looks like a normal person, like, I'm, I'm not saying normal, but like, I swear there was a guy going around my area asking for scrap metal that looked like him. I swear to God. Because that's what Rag and Bone Man means, basically, innit? Do a looper, yeah. She won big as well. Ed Sheeran. Looking like a carrot ginger version of Thriller, kind of. In that red jacket. Although that is kind of suede, it's not really leather, is it? Foo Fighters, yeah. The Legends. Obviously, like they said, he broke his leg the other year and he missed loads of concerts. I had got tickets to that particular concert and I missed it because he broke his damn leg. What legend I would have liked that. And yeah, Liam, of course. As always, wearing a long green or beige coat as he normally does. Well, there is his own clothing line, I think. Yeah, tribute to the Manchester Arena Tour attack. Yeah, that, that was it's been a tough year in that sense. Sam Smith, I don't know what he's doing with his suit. This bit behind him looked like a sewage pipe to me. I'm, I'm just saying what calling it as I see it. No criticism there. His latest song. Kendrick, who I saw last week live, was a lot better last week. I mean, they bleeped out with the swearing. Why are you smashing the Lamborghini? Whatever, what's, what's his name, that like geezer? Uh, yeah, Rich Kid. Um, yeah, that's not really a Kendrick song, but you featured on it, but yeah. At the start, like, they kept messing up the music intro. So if I was Kendrick, I wouldn't be happy. Because I was looking forward to that more than any other. Rita Ora, I don't like you. Stormzy, the legend. That was the longest shout whatever, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, he debuted with Ed Sheeran, yeah. That probably helped as well. But yeah, too big for your boots. The song about Grenfell Tower. And then, was it Your Grace? Yeah, that's a good one. Blinded by Your Grace. When I heard that, I was like, oh my god. Because it is quite legendary. And that is the Brit Awards. Um, right, let me just see what else they got up here. That was the Brits. Well done, Stormzy. Well done, Dear Looper. Well done, Gorillas. Well done, they've only won an award. And all the nominees. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. If you're new to the channel, um, yeah. Go back and watch a few videos and get a bit of context into me and what I do on this channel. But I'm not at the Brits yet, so maybe next year you never know, you might see me at the Brits winning best something. I don't know. I'm not a musician, why would I be at the Brits? Um, but yeah, you never know, I might be presenting it. Do a better job than Jack Wright, White or whatever his name is. But yeah, that is me, Louisie21. I am Louisie21. Better known as John Luke Louisi. Those of you who know me well enough. Peace out, fam. Grazie a tutti, ciao ragazzi. Alla prossima. Until next time, guys. Peace. Stormzy! to Stormzy for picking up his second British Award of the night. He'll definitely be needing a bigger trophy cabinet. It has been a phenomenal year for the King of Crime.